Hello guys, it is Kento from the Realms Geek, and today I'm starting the code of the Frosted Spinner website. So yeah, today we are going to be working on getting these two sidebars, so the users in the spinner and the response timer set up. We will not be doing any backend in this episode, we will just be getting the basic add user bar and everything like that. We will also be doing the Frosted Spinner title and the spinner created by text. So let's get into it. So starting out, we are going to, of course, uh, link our style sheet and get all that stuff set up. Uh, but now we're going to start creating some divs. So let's say div um, id, equals, id equals header, and we'll end that div. And now that that's done, let us do an h1 and class equals um, header, or let's just, let's just call it header, and then we'll say um, frosted. Spinner, and that each one, and now we'll go. Um, let's do a p tag, uh, class equals slug, and we'll say we'll just copy over this text so it's easier. Uh, boop, and boop, boop, and slash p. So now if we go into our web page, we reload it, and we see frosted spinner created by Kenton Business, all that sort of jubbly stuff. <laughs> and now let us um, modify this style sheet. So that way we have the correct uh, IDs and such. So we'll name this hashtag header. Um, yep. And they'll do hashtag header dot header h1. And that should, oops. Nope. Okay, so let's just do dot header. Um, hmm. Let's do hashtag header. Sorry about this. I was not expecting to run into this error. If I could ever get back into this. There we go. Alright, so now that that's good, let us do the same thing for the p tag. Maybe, if we just add a p. Nope, alright, didn't think that would work. <laughs> but you know what, it's always good to test stuff. So now let's do hashtag header p, and now we can just copy this over. Except this one, we won't make it oblique. Oops. And now we can go back in here, reload, and as you see, it's been created by. Okay, that is perfect. So now let us just do some header styling. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say hashtag header. And then I'm going to copy over this uh, font family. So that way we don't have to have anything for the P tag. And only in the H1 will have uh, font style. So now we can do this. We can say that the font, oops, um, text align, sorry, is center. And then it should center up our text. Yep, that's perfect. And now, as this text is a bit bigger, um, uh, it's 150, so uh, we'll try that and we'll see how big that looks. Let's do font size 150. This is going to be way too big. I can feel it in my bones. Wow. Yep. That is way That's one thing about Adobe XD that I'm not a big fan of. The text sizes are all off. But, you know, you got to deal with some stuff. Okay, that looks about right. And now let us set the line height. So we'll just go um, line height, and then let's do like whoop, not 120. Let's try 12 px. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. All right, so now that that's much more compact, let us keep going down. Actually, and even though it's putting our text more up, we can still modify the top height after we get it all nice and cozy. All right, that looks good. I like that. So now we're going to go to our header and say a position is absolute, and we'll say top, maybe 10px. We might actually, yep, okay, we can't do absolute, let's just do relative. It's always fine. Alright, now that's done, we still need to go, I don't know why I put that as negative, sorry. Uh, 25px. Alright, that looks pretty good. Before I forget, let's set this background color. Um, just so that's done. And once this is done, let me just do body, background, a color, hashtag, oops, don't hashtag, um, 38E8FF, I think that was it, and perfect. So now it is starting to look a bit more like it, like the uh, design. I'm not sure if this will work, but let's try border 1px solid black. I just want to see, oops, I should have made that solid black, um, white. Oh, wait. No, I didn't think that would work. All right, that's yeah, all good. So we'll do the font um, 
trace or the border. Let's see, why didn't that work? Border. And then let's do. Hmm. Alright, it's fine for now. We don't need to do that. But we can do that in a later time. But now let's set the color to white. Color white. That makes it look a lot more like the design. So, wow, that already looks pretty dang good. Um, so, now let's create the two, or let's start out with the left div. So, let's do, actually, let's do div id equals game container. Or let's just call it container, why not? And now we can end that div. And we can say, let's just create all of our divs now. So, we'll say div id equals. Um, user, uh, uh, let's say, R, um, ooh, I'll call it in here, okay, so let's say, right, or no, let's do this, let's do sidebar, and then let's do class equals, uh, right, I don't know why I put right, but left, and we'll end up that div, and then we'll do, if id equals spinner, and that div again, and we'll do div id equals, Sidebar class equals right. And that will end off that div. Okay, now that that is done, we can go into our code, see nothing changed. That's good. So now let's go into our style and we'll say hashtag sidebar. And then let's set the width, widths of these. Um, I'm not sure how large I make it. Um, it's looking like it is around 480 pixels. So let's say width of uh, 480px. Let's make a height of 90. Or let's do 180px. I know I can check. And I forgot to add that. Of course, I need to add some background color and such, but you know, it's the basics that you always forget. So now we'll say background color um, white, border 5px solid black. Now that's done, we can see that there are a sidebar, and wow, those are way too uh, long. So let's, I'd say half of that. Let's say 240, oop, 240 px. Mm, where does it go? Um, let's see, 380 maybe? There's a lot of testing in my development. I don't know why, I just like hacking at it. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do... Uh, 340 px. I think that'll be good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, perfect. So now we'll say hashtag sidebar dot left um, align items. Let's see, is that? Nope. So we'll say position absolute. Say left zero. Then hashtag sidebar dot right. Position absolute and right zero. And I can actually. I'm not sure why that did not work. Let's see what happens if we do that. I'm pretty sure it's because of this container. Let's try and remove this container real quick. I'll be back once I figure this out. All right, now that I'm back, I was completely done with that. Um, yeah, so I just added a hashtag sidebar. You did not need that. just broke the whole thing. So, yeah, I also added back the container and set the container width to 100%, and it's all good now. But now we need to set the um, top to around, I'd say, 10. Nope, not even close. How high is it from there? Let's see. For figuring out estimates of height, I guess I can just pointer this. And that is about... Oop. Oop. Um, okay, never mind. Can't do that in XD. Oh, okay, so let's just wild guess it. It's fine. Um, maybe, I'm gonna say 75 pixels. Whoa, that's way too far. Uh, 45. Yeah. I'll go 35, I think. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. So. Now that we have that, let's add a margin of like 10 pixels. 
I should move it all in a bit. And having the 10 pixel uh, padding, actually, let's do 15. Yep, having that 15 padding, let's subtract 15 from this. Let's do 20 pixels. This was the same height as I liked. All right, so now that that looks beastly, I'm going to set the height of the container to a bit more. Maybe 9%. 9%. A bit too long. Um, I think I find 85 usually without written nope. So yeah, 85 is just to get to the bottom of the page. Um, 75. How does it look on there? Does it go all the way down? I forgot. Yes. Okay, so how about this? Do height of 85 and a margin of bottom of 10 pixels. I don't think that worked, sorry. Uh, it's, yeah, it's 10 o'clock, it's, it's reasonable. Uh, so let's do 70, uh, why not just 80? Okay, so I think 82, probably 0.5 would be, nope, 82 would be perfect though. Alright, so now that that is done, let's add some cool code into here. So let's do div uh, class equals, um, let's do top bar. For this top bar, and now in here we'll say uh, let's do p, and then users in the wheel. Our uh, users in the spinner. So let's end that p tag. Go in here, and we'll see. Yeah, it says that. Cool. So now we'll add an input uh, type equals. Yeah, let's just do type equals text, and that by doing that, and then let's do um, a placeholder, and that equals add a username here, and perfecto. Okay, so now let's style that um, a lot. So let's leave the sidebar stuff like that, and now let's go um, hashtag sidebar comma dot. Let's see, top bar, I think that's what I named it. And now let's say width 100% uh, background, oh, background color. And then let's do this. Let's go in here, fill, grab that fill, and paste it in there. And paste that in. As you see, it's way too large. Let's get rid of the width. And perfect. Now I just need to set the proper height. So I'll say height equals, um, let's do, uh, let's see, not nah, 10% is going to be way too long. Oh, whoops. Right, if you do hashtag sidebar, it'll also do the sidebar code as well. Uh, I forgot to remind everyone of that. Now let's say a margin zero, and that should Oh, oh, right. Oops. Position absolute. And there we go. Okay, so now it has to go to the side, so we'll say width. Oop, I type 100%. And there we go. Alright, now we're going to say height. Let's do 15%, maybe? Um, let's get actually everything else done first. So let's do like this. Dot top bar uh, p. Now we will say to do this. Oh, sorry. So now we'll say that the text size will be around 40 pixels. So let's say font size um, 30 px. All right. So that's a bit big still. Let's go down to 20. See how that looks. Alright, that's looking good. Um, let's set the font style to. Uh, let's see here. Sorry, font weight. And then I need to do bold. And now it's nice and bold. So now we'll do text align center. And we're good. Alright, now let's do the same thing, but for the um, 
input. So dot top bar input. Uh, font font size. Let's do twenty four px. Yeah, that looks that looks good. And now then I'm gonna try something. Width is one hundred percent. So now we will just have it so we input the name, and then as soon as you hit enter, it goes down into the list. Now we need to add the extra height to compensate for that. Let's see, I think that looks pretty darn good. If I wanted to, I could set the line height to something lower. Yeah, let's do that. Let's set the line height to something lower. And that looks about better. Yeah, I like that much better. So now I think we can take this um, height back to... Let's try 15. See what happens. Okay, 15 is a little low. Um, let's try 18. I like 18. 18 looks pretty good. So now um, we'll have something for the table. So let's just add a... Um, I won't do the table right now, actually. I'll just add a comma, a comment. Uh, right. The weird type of comments. Um, add list here. Alright, now that that's done, we're good. Let's copy this over. Oops, we want to add the list here. So now that that's done, we'll go over to the sidebar right, copy and paste it, and now edit the stuff inside of it. So let's change the reason and spinner to response timer because if they don't respond to a reasonable amount of time he does start a timer uh, to make them count down. So now for this one let's do this. So dot top bar comma yeah comma and then um top bar comma dot right and then we'll do this as height. Uh, let's see what auto does. Alright, that looks muchos kudos. And actually, I guess we could just do this. We could do height auto. Let me, let me make this real quick. So right here, let's do height auto. But then let's add a padding um, bottom of like 12px. And there we have it pretty good. So now it's the same on this side as well, which is always good. So now if we delete the input from this side, because we don't need it over here, see it automatically readjusts it. And it looks good. So cool. So now let's do this. Let's say um, to span class equals time, and then we'll say 30. Not span. Check, make sure that that's all good. Oh uh, well, why did I put spam? Jeez. Uh, H1 slash H1. And I'm not sure why that is not showing up. Okay, so I just realized my mistake. I put two P's here, and the P is getting overwritten by the sidebar tag. So let's just change this um, to P class equals time again. And then in our sidebar P, um, let's try time should still work. Yep, okay, cool. So now let's do, um, just to get this over with text align center, and we'll set the height, font size to something huge, 48 pixels, bigger, much bigger. 120 is going to be gigantic. Actually, that's not too bad. I like it. Do 164. Yeah, I like 164. Let's stick with 164. Now let's set line height to uh, zero pixels for now. And now we can remove the top. And we're golden. So now we have to add the little start button to the bottom. So we will go into here. And we will say div class equals bottom bar slash div that oops, slash div that 
And they will say the button class equal or type equals submit. And then we'll class equals submit. And I really hope recording audio. Let me just double check. Yeah. Okay. Uh, slash button. And now we'll just, oops, whoa, that's weird. Um, start. Okay, so now we have a miniature button right down there. Let us do some cool styling to that. So we'll go down to here, and we'll go under the top bar, the dot bottom bar, and it'll say position absolute bottom zero. And that should bottom us out. Yep. So now we will say um, text. Align center. I don't think that'll align that. Nope. Okay. All good. So now we'll say dot bottom bar button. Um, left. And then let's do. I always know 50% isn't actually 50%. Um, but who knows? I may just be totally wrong. Not sure why 25% is so little, actually. Unless, of course, my bottom bar isn't the correct width, which I don't think it is. Width 100%. And, yeah, that was the issue. Let's try 25%. Nope. Um, mm, I always hate centering out divs. It's one of the hardest things for me. I don't know why. Um, 0% looks like it actually does it. Oh, well. Text line did work. So, oh me. So, this should actually work just fine then. Yep. But let's add that back. So, we can do text, font size, sorry. Font size 48 pixels. And then that increases the size automatically. And now let's set the uh, margin, oops, margin to 0, and the width to 100%. So now we just have a big start button, and let's do background color uh, lime. Now we have a nice start button. Let's set the border to nothing. Border zero. And boom, shakalaka. Look at that amazing, beautiful start button. Doesn't really match up with the blue theme, but for now, I think we'll be good. So that is going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Tomorrow we will add the, um, I think tomorrow we'll do the start timer, and then the day after that we'll do the users and the spinner, and then the day after that, uh, the spinner itself. So yeah, this should be a really fun project. Uh, I hope you stick around. Make sure to subscribe for more content. Share this, tweet this to Frosty Fritz, and I'll see you all right back here tomorrow. See ya.